a bird crept on my car. So I ate a whole plate of wings out on the front porch just to show it what I'm capable of. Ha! Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Bit of a quick shave today, mainly for, to have an excuse to show you some footage of the beautiful game of Bundy. So, here are some typical Bundy goal highlights. And here is uh, <laughs> Swedish, the Swedish view of how the English would play bandy. Bandy log from England, namely in Royal St. Arthur's Bandy Club. How far is it? I think you need a slashy, sir. Very well then, let's give it a go. Nice shot, old lad. One nil. Okay, enough fun and games. It's uh, it's a Matti Lindholm brush today with. Proraso Red Shaving Cream. This is good stuff. I've I used to have a, a tub of this stuff, but I gave it away because I didn't like the scent and then I got this as a present and now I like it. I like the scent. <clears throat> yeah, was that a bandy game yesterday? Winter times or Bundy time, so um, Boxing Day is the big Bundy day where you play where, where there is a derby and um, I don't know, it's usually played in pretty remote places where you go home quite often over Christmas to celebrate with uh, parents and whatnot and then it's like a homecoming thing to, to watch the game both on Boxing Day and on, on other days when, when you're around. So we've been around for three games in a row now and my team is doing fairly well. They won yesterday, so that was cool. Um, I tried filming while I watch and it's, it's just pretty rubbish. Um, because we don't have any high stance or anything, it's really low key. But um, I hope you got a hope you enjoyed what I stole, copied from YouTube. Poor quality, apologize. 
So on the agenda today is no work, not a lot of play either. I gotta go grocery shopping with the wife. Because going grocery shopping together without kids is a uh, it's an adventure of love. Did you did you not know that? Now you do. And then <clears throat> I'm painting ceilings with a damn brush. So yeah, Razor is um, Feather Artist Club DX with the super professional blade in it. So here we go. And the ceiling painting is, is just as fun as you can imagine. I did first coating yesterday. It's not huge, but it still took me four hours because I have to do it with a, a brush. Did, did, did I, what, did I, what did I call it? I called it something else, I think, but a brush anyway. And Second coating is just horrible. Because you can't see where where you're at. <clears throat> and I have a, I don't know what you call that, but a, a, a matte finish as opposed to shiny on the, on the paint. So you really can't see where you're at and it's just, but it's gotta be done. And then tomorrow I can put up wallpaper which I quite enjoy. So just need to get through it. This racer is good. I keep using the same soaps lately. I haven't been purchasing a lot of new ones because I have so many. I don't want to buy soaps just to show on the YouTube channel. Is that, is that bad? Do you mind? Well, you're not watching for new content anyway. You're watching for God knows what. Why are you watching? Why do you watch the show? It's not quite a show either. We call it show when we're on YouTube shaving. <laughs> I don't know how much of a show it is. Maybe it's more of a show when there's a group of people. There you go, first pass. I think that went really well. Let's have a feel around. So did you get any cool gifts for Christmas? Did I ask you already? Maybe I did. Getting senile. Did I tell you what I got for Christmas? We still give a few gifts in my family. Not a whole lot. So we, we, uh, we've canceled gifts from other than to grown-ups, other than from immediate family. So I'm not getting anything from mom, mom anymore. Which, you know, it would be a pajamas anyway, wouldn't it? But I got some cool gifts. So do you get anything interesting? I told my family not to get well I encouraged them not to get anything shave related because either I would need to specify exactly what I want which is boring or they buy some something I'm don't necessarily like. It's 
So let's hope they're not, they're not watching. <laughs> I don't think they are. A few weepers on the, on the chin there. I often get weepers with this particular weapon. But it's a price to pay for getting a, an incredibly close shave. It's like a caress. Some razors are like a massage. This is like a caress. I think I was rushing things a little bit on the chin, chin, chin there. And when you rush things with this, then there is blood. And do you have anything going on for New Year's Eve? Anything? Any partying? Can you party where you're at? Considering viruses and, and stuff. It's our wedding anniversary on Christmas Eve. And we found we find that quite clever. Because then if we want to, we can say, no, no, we just want to be with each other and love each other, which we do, you know. And then we don't have to go to a party that we don't want to go to. It's pretty convenient. It's become a bit of a habit, actually, because we're almost always on our own, which I enjoy. New Year's is a little bit like amateur hour, isn't it? When it comes to partying. <clears throat> I don't know. I I'm sorry. I don't want I don't mean to be disrespectful. It's mainly, yeah. It's nice to be not always be with people. Okay, I'm gonna rinse. Cold as well, see if we can get rid of the claret. Oh, beauteous, very nice. Those are some good tools, you know, nice and easy. Proraso Red, it's a cream from a tube, but it's, um, it's nice, it is very nice and Matty's mentholated toxic waste. Yeah, not too much. That's enough, because it's mentholated and it's pure evil. Ho ho ho, you can feel it already. But it's good, I like it. Go tell Matty he needs to make proper batches of, huh of aftershave balm and sell it to the masses. Thank you for watching. Oh, um, I might do uh, one more this year, we'll see. You know, I usually do. Otherwise, take care and uh, stay sharp.